Hey guys, what's going on? Pigs Like Pineapples here, and in today's video, we're driving the 2015 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. I'm in excited to drive this car. I bought it on the auction house. It had the body kit, so we're going to put the body kit on, obviously. Like, why wouldn't you put the body kit on? But we're going to be doing some street races and see how thing, see how thing, see how good this thing is. And I want to say thank you for the 200 views on the last video. If you're a new subscriber. Hello to you, be sure to stay tuned to the channel because there's going to be some epic gameplays coming out soon. So, just be prepared for that. I'm not a big fan of the colour on this car. Is everything upgraded on it? No, it's not. I'm shocked. No, can we get... What conversions can we get? Please say this person didn't make it... Yay! They didn't make it all-wheel drive. Thank you. I know this thing's crazy horsepower stock. Yeah, 707 horsepower stock. Well, it's not stock because we put a body kit on it. And for some reason, the body kits increase the horsepower. Doesn't make sense, I know. But if we take the body kit off... Oh, it's the same amount of horsepower if we put the body kit on. And it just makes it lighter. So, wait. So we're just putting the weight reduction. Somehow adding stuff to the... I don't know. Like, are they made out of... Plastic or something, is that how you manage to do it, Forza? Are, like, compared to no... Well, I say no wing, the tiny little wing. I prefer the lip. The Liberty Walk lip on this car. It just looks a lot nicer. Rims and stuff. Oh yeah, to have the horizon right and we need... Race tyre compound. And normally I have race tyre compound on for drifting. When I've got over 700 horsepower, it's just something I do. Alright, we're just got, we're gonna need, yeah. yeah. Forza knows we need to make them tyres so thick. So, so thick. Just trying to find rims for this car is gonna be really awkward, isn't it? As it is for every car. Is there any good piece rims? Oh, it comes with piece rims on it. To be honest, I like the look of them. I don't know if it really suits the car, but I like the look of them. I right. choosing rims is always good when you choose it from this angle. They are so deep. Oh my god! Sometimes I question Forza's logic. By sometimes I mean quite. I think we're just gonna go for them. I don't know why. I don't really know how to judge it because well, like the rims on this car, you can put pretty much anything on this car for them to be good i guess to an extent they're all right but they're not as nice as i would have liked them obviously we're going to change the color and stuff like that we need that big bad boy brakes mate we're hiring it we're taking it off road no we're doing the challenger versus the street racers god why wouldn't you think about it probably in the title so you know do we put one of the body kits on uh, body kits, ball cages in. No, we're, we're gonna leave it. Weight redu There's more weight reduction. Wow, I am shocked by this car. Because you wouldn't think. I'm pretty sure this thing still weighs like 15,000. 3,463 pounds. That's not bad. I forgot to upgrade that, didn't I? Well, we're gonna see what's the max horsepower we can get out of this. I think it's something around a thousand. I'm pretty sure the. I've seen Hellcats upgraded to around 800 horsepower in this game. Not much more than that, but we're going to see what's the most we can get out of it. Cause what's the point in doing something if you're not going to see how much you can get out of it? Right, we'll quickly check. 1,047 horsepower. That's what I'm talking about. 3,475 pounds and 898 foot-pounds of torque. Let's do this video right now, once we've paid for all this stuff and got a design, if we want a design and stuff. I'm waving my hands around in the air like I know what I'm doing. I, I don't. Just being brutally honest, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's have a look at some design and paint, see what people have made. See if there's anything. Oh yeah, guys, I'm sorry in the last video, what's got over 200 views now. That I said I thought it was made for Ali. Apparently it's made for NASCAR. I live in Britain so I don't really see NASCAR that often. That looks nice. That looks nice. Some of these are really nice. 
Hmm. Is that the one off of Fast and Furious? It kind of looks like the one off Fast and Furious 7, I think. I haven't watched the film in quite a while. We're just going to paint it. The design is locked. Whatever. What do you mean the design's locked? It's blue. I suppose I did buy it off an auction house. So that might have something to do with it. But I got this car for a steal. I bought it for five and a half grand. It got, well, five and a half or five. I can't remember. It, it was pretty cheap. Because someone had just whacked it up straight away. So I was like, I'm buying that. To be honest, this car looks nice in a lot of colours. Like, for instance, the orange. That looks really nice. So, it's going to be a hard decision. Pink. Amazing. What manufacturer colours is that? Um, some of these look horrible. I think we're going to go for an orange. I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to go for an orange. Well, I might actually. We're going for a stealthed out Hellcat. By stealth, I mean just completely black. We gotta have them carbon fiber mirrors, though. To be honest, really, you can't paint the wing. I'm offended for that. Fix your game. If we're going all stealthy, we're having it completely blacked out, besides the windows. Because, realistically, I used to like tinted windows, now I think they're horrible. Safe to current car. The stealthy Hellcat. We're going to see how this thing drives, and then we're going to test the tune. Because, to be honest, I want a tune what's got a lot of power, what actually grips up. And, to be honest, with the fat tyres on the front, hopefully it'll turn. And not many muscle cars turn. So, we're just going to see how this thing drives on tune. I forgot we were here. Is there any street race? There's no street races around here. Wow, there's no street race. We're going to do that. We're going to do the BMW. We're just going to teleport down here and then we're doing the BMW versus the Hellcat. Charger, Challenger Hellcat. I nearly said Charger Hellcat. Well, I did say Charger Hellcat. I'm just going to kill myself. I don't understand why they make... I, I'm pretty sure there's a Hellcat Charger, isn't there? <laughs> just questioning what I've said. Social? Okay. Oh, I guess that's cool. Cars. Oh, we haven't drove it. Wow, this thing spins like mad. We get... Not gonna lie, this thing would probably drift pretty well. One reason I love the new Charger. I love all Chargers, all Challengers. But, well, not all challenge. Uh, not all Chargers. I should really... I'm not a Dodge fanboy. I keep getting the Charger and the Challenger mixed up. Like, someone should kill me. Why is the acceleration that high? What are you doing, Forza? Now, I might put a lot of power into it, but seriously. Lower the gears. I'm probably drastically messing up the tune. Like, surely some of you will correct me in the comments. I don't know much about tuning cars. So, don't judge me. We're gonna, we're gonna lower the camber, because realistically you don't need camber when you're trying to grip up, unless you have positive cambers to try and get as much grip as possible. Is that, is that wide body? I didn't actually look properly, if it is. I wish you could have like a thing. Alright, you got such, such much better launch than me. And to be honest, you're probably going to drive a lot better than me, M3. But we're going to try and beat you. Come on, pull, Hellcat. You've got, like, probably double its horsepower. Yes. Come on, little, I say little Hellcat. It's massive. I mean, compare this to a normal-sized car. This thing is a bloody giant. It's just too big. And it actually turns with drifting and without. And I'm getting better with my drifting, so hopefully we can turn with the drifting. Is rubber banding? No, stop it. You're not allowed in front. You're like a three-year-old. You're not allowed in the front seat. So you're not a three-year-old. You're probably older than three. And only reason I'm saying, so oh my god, I don't think we're gonna win this. I didn't see that corner coming up. 
Alright. Come on. Come on, Hellcat. You can do it. I believe in you. You're 60 No, I'm not trying to ram you off course. I'm trying to turn. <laughs> right, we're actually doing okay. Not great, we're doing okay. Hopefully, if there's a straight, that's where we can pull. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm rewinding that. Yes, I've rewinded on. What do you expect me to do? If there's a game... Is this... Uh, uh, if there's a function in the game, I'm going to use it, alright? I'm going to use you for a break. Come on. Come on, Hellcat. I believe in you, Hellcat. I believe. Oh my god, you stupid transit van, you pedophile. <laughs> Stereotypical for people who drive a van, I know, but just, just get over it. Come on, Hellcat, don't let him take you, don't let him take you, don't let him take you. Driving it in third is probably a lot better, just for the grip, to be honest. Uh, I've probably slid in third in this video, but currently, come on, I think we win his car as well. Mm. Yes! Yes, we did it! Yes! Oh my god, 0.2 of a second. We won it by because we crashed at the end. We're gonna do a real spin, guys. Just for the end of this video, like we do in every video now. Hopefully we get something decent because we've had alright luck in this video. Yes, boys! Mini Cooper S Horizon Edition! Just, just because we can't, we're gonna do another one. I'd be all right with the Ford GT Horizon Edition. I think we've gone past it though. But 25k is all right. If you guys have enjoyed this video, like and subscribe down below as you always do, and see you guys in the next bloody video.